I'm not gonna lie, I did get a little bit dressed up for today's video, but it's a Chanel unboxing and I don't do one every week on my channel, so I thought it deserves a little bit of dressiness. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all been keeping well and had an amazing start to 2022. Today's video is going to be a Chanel unboxing. So there's some items here which I've had on my wish list for at least two years and I'm really excited to share these with you guys because they're pieces that yeah I've really been wanting for a very long time and really happy to finally have them with me now. One of the items which I picked up from Chanel costs less than 50 Australian dollars. So if you are someone who loves Chanel or if you know someone who does and you're looking for a really affordable gift idea, then please make sure you stay tuned and watch through to the end of the video because I think you'll really like this item. So I'm going to start off unboxing one of the items which has been on my wish list for a couple of years now. And this is a piece which I think is something that I can definitely work in to my existing wardrobe. It's something which I think is very, very versatile um, and it's something that can be worn with a multitude of different pieces. So I will show you guys what I've got. So it comes in this little velvet pouch there and we open it up and it is a lovely brooch. So this is actually one of the smaller size brooches from Chanel. I was actually looking at one in the larger size but ultimately I thought I'd end up going with one that was a little bit smaller because I thought this would really work in if I purchase another brooch from Chanel and I wanted to add both of them um, together, it would look really nice if both of them were a little bit smaller rather than having a really big one and then a smaller one. So this is the first item which I picked up. I did spend quite a little bit of time in the boutique at Westfield, Sydney where I got this. The sales assistant was really, really patient with me while I was trying a few different ones on. Um, but having a brooch, I think, is a really lovely way to just add a little bit of point of interest, especially to items such as blazers. I think that this would also work really well on a dress and even on simple pieces such as t-shirts or knitwear. I just think it adds a really feminine and a little bit of a luxurious touch to outfits. So the next item which I picked up, I actually got this the week before Christmas and that's why we've got sort of the different packaging there. So Chanel have got like a really lovely gold glitter on a black camellia and they've also got the matching ribbon as well. So usually it has the white camellia with the white ribbon but this was the holiday season packaging here in Australia so that's why it's a little bit different. And this item is something that I've probably had my eye on for probably I'd say six months for this particular piece but it is something that I've known that I've needed to um, get. So this is actually updating something that I have and that's what the packaging on the box looks like there. I just think it's really really lovely that they added this sort of gold onto the black ribbon. So just unbox it like this guy so you guys can see. So you can probably already tell from the box here what we've got. So that's the little case there with the signature Chanel quilting on the back and inside we have a pair of sunglasses. So I ended up getting the black cat eye style sunglasses and these ones actually have the little Chanel pearl on each side which I really really love. Pearls are definitely one of the things I love the most um, and I knew that I wanted to get a different style of sunglass. The other pair of sunglasses that I have is in a tortoiseshell colour and they're more of a square um, shape and I thought I'd try out one that had a black frame um, and in a cat eye shape as well. So I'll show you guys what they look like on. So I just think that the cat eye shape is incredibly feminine. It sort of lifts the face up a little bit as well. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, I really did 
love the pearl detail there. So really happy that I've got a pair of sunglasses and the other pair of sunglasses that I had, I've had them since 2016. It was probably well past the due date for me to um, update my sunglasses in terms of the lens and protection there. Um, but yeah, really happy that I picked up these ones. And this particular style is also available in different colors as well. So I'll try and insert some in the cutaways, um, but absolutely love that I've got this pair in my collection. Okay, so the next bag that we've got is a little bit bigger. This has been on my wish list for a couple of years now and I don't know why it took me so long to actually bite the bullet and make the purchase. I think one of the things that has sort of um, forced me to actually go and purchase this before Christmas was the fact that the prices keep going up and I've wanted this for so long so I thought you know what it's just purchase it before the price increase happens again the following year. So I'll unbox this for you guys so you can see. Yeah, this is really, really special. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from the size of the bag what this is. Um, I'll open it up. So that's the box there. Again, we've got the lovely camellia and the white ribbon. can probably tell what it is from the shape of the box so opening it up it is not the classic flap that is still on my wish list this is actually a pair of slingbacks so these are the classic Chanel two-tone slingback block heels. I already have the ballet flats in the classic beige with the black cap toe and because I am leaning more towards block heels I just find that they're so much more comfortable and I really do love a pair of slingback heels as well. I thought I'll definitely get these and I think because my wardrobe has ended up becoming a lot more neutral based in terms of colors I'm really confident that I can actually work these into my existing wardrobe now which is really really nice so really really happy that I picked these up these also come in different seasonal colorways as well so there's a couple of really nice ones out at the moment which I'll show you guys in the cutaways and they also come in I think there's like a black with a black cap toe um, that's part of their permanent collection as well. But just a really classic, very quintessential Chanel heel, um, which I'm just so thrilled to have. I actually need to get these sold as well. I usually get most of my um, designer shoe and even non-designer shoe purchases. I always get a protective sole put on. So that's something I need to do. But be prepared to be seeing these a lot because I am just so over the moon that I've finally added these to my shoe collection. And the last item which I picked up, I actually picked this up last weekend. And this is the item which is under 50 Australian dollars. So very, very affordable for everyone, no matter what your budget is. And I'm not sure if this is something that a lot of people know is available. I think it's something that would make a really nice gift for any women or even men out there, to be honest. Um, it's something that can be used by everyone, no matter what your personal style is. So I actually picked up, this is from the beauty department. I got this from um, Maya, the Chanel beauty department there and it comes in a little velvet pouch with the Chanel logo and inside we have a mirror. So this is a two-sided mirror. We've got one that is a normal mirror and then the other one is like a magnifying glass mirror. So this is just something which I think is, you know, it's something that anyone can really have. I think 
This is something that's really useful to have in your handbag. I knew that I needed to replace the little compact mirror that I had because it was looking a little bit worse for wear and I thought I'll pick up one of the Chanel mirrors. So if you walk into any of these sort of Chanel um, counters at your local department store, they will most likely have this. So this is called the uh, Double Mirror or Mirror Duo. So something that is definitely very affordable and adds that little touch of luxury to your makeup bag or your handbag. So that's it for today's Chanel unboxing, just a short and sweet one, but really, really happy that I've been able to add in a few key pieces. I think the brooch and the shoes were the top two that I've really been wanting for the longest time. And I was really hoping to purchase them in 2021 and just being able to get them for myself before Christmas was a really lovely way to end the year. I think that going forward, the next item that I'd love to purchase is one of the classic lap handbags, either in the beige or the black colorway. I'm still not sure which, but that's something I'm definitely going to have to save up for. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a like. And I'd also love to hear your thoughts on the pieces that I've unboxed with you guys here today. Let me know what you think, if you've got the shoes or if you've got the brooch or the glasses or the mirror or anything similar. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have these items been on your wish list? Do you like them? If you don't like them, I'd love to hear why. Let's have a conversation in the comments below because I always love chatting with you guys down there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye!